about folk music Yeah, everybody's talking about it Start to be honest, I'll say. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, folk music. Lots of beer and lots of hippies. If I find out, I'll tell you. Well, yeah, it's music that I turn up and listen to once a year. It's kind of like friendly and stuff. Folk music is great. It's fun to dance to and great. Yeah, and great. It's too broad to define generally like that. Well, folk me music to me is the uh, music of the people. Louis Armstrong said, all music's folk music, leastways I haven't heard a horse sing. Um, but I don't think it's as simple as that. Traditional folk music is songs originating from way back, being passed on from father to son, mother to child, whatever, friend to friend, town to town. Telling stories and protesting and celebrating. That's sort of like there's a great deal of sexuality in the music. It's not that sort of thing really. It's, it's more, uh, as I say, roots. Um, it, it comes from somewhere else. You've got the music that comes from the Middle Ages and that the uh, uh, peasants and farming people would dance to. Um, and then, of course, you move into the industrial age when people from the towns and that, the new towns, would have their music and play it and dance to it. And, uh, and it's all come together in sort of the 20th and 21st centuries with all the influences from other, other places. It isn't something that was done in 1840 and you have to do it the same way ever since. There's a space for that as well, but what folk music is really about is a growing tradition and it can only grow if people bring something from outside. It's like a very fertile garden, it produces constant new crops, new ideas, new things. And the songs, um, as David said, they tell stories and kind of a lot of them, there's so many different versions of them because they've been around for so long. Songs like The Streets of Laredo, which is an American song about a, a, um, an independent, you know, uh, from the War of Independence, about a soldier dying on the streets and asking his mum or his friends to make sure that they play the five slowly and all the rest of it. That, there's at least another four songs in that. You can listen to an old song that dates back hundreds and hundreds of years, but it's still talking about things that are relevant to us. As long as it's got a comment about something, whether it be affairs of the heart or... and it's presented in an acoustic fashion, I think it's folk music. Young boy came up to me and said, Hey old man, what you got inside the case? It must be top of old Smokey or the songs of praise. I said, it's a folk guitar. He said, I can tell it from your face. You must have been the moony man, you out of phase. I said, but everybody's talking about folk music. He said, yeah. I said, yeah. Everybody's talking about it. Everything's right. Well, the difficulty is that it's no longer mainstream popular. When it was popular, it would be a way of spreading the news and uh, informing opinions. But now that's done with rap, so this is rather, rather marginalised. I, I don't understand why broadcasting spends so little time celebrating the rich traditions that there are in these islands, the folk music that we all love. Why is folk a four letter word? Why do they do it on us? Why don't they give us more time? Why do they, why do they seem to imply that it's fool's music, that only old people do it? Or people who put their fingers in their ears and wear iron sweaters do it? All that terrible cliched rubbish that is spouted all the time. Folk music is a dirty word still in broadcasting, in the media. You know, you open any of the Sundays supplements and you look at all the record reviews, it's jazz, world, pop, whatever, but there's never a folk section. Yeah, massive unfashionability. Um, it's just not in the least bit fashionable and only when it gets together in huge conglomerations like this is it even vaguely commercial. And that's one of the things I love about it. It's not manufactured music. Pop is manufactured artificial music done simply to make money. No other reason. They want to be famous, they want to be rich, that's all. Real folk singers do it because they've got to do it. They'd be doing it for nothing. They'd do it anyway, full stop. In America, the umbrella's huge 
like Ricky Lee Jones, Joni Mitchell, Bob Dylan, Mark Knopfler would be under the folk umbrella and everything in between. Here, this umbrella is quite small, you've got to be quite traditional and play lots of tunes to be a folk musician. So unless you're prepared to go to London and sell your soul, it's a chancy old world. I mean, look it up to me. <laughs> Am I so wrong? A man who hates to fight. Playing an acoustic in a world of megabytes. I can make it happen, playing on a string. It's a God-given talent, and listen to me sing. Tom Lehrer said that the reason that much folk music is so bad is that it was written by the people. But I don't really subscribe to that. Some of it I quite enjoy, but some of it I find very samey. And, um, huh? Well, no banjos. I'm not a folk fan, but <laughs> not to the degree as some people here, but great stuff. I think it's the intent rather than the performance, rather than the music itself, it's the intent. It was more for like, the people to like, pick up instruments and just like, enjoy. The thing that I really love about folk music is that um, you go to festivals or folk at summer school or something like that and um, there's like dozens of people sat around all playing tunes. And you can sing along to it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's music that you do for the sheer love of it. Maybe it's the attitude, what is folk music? I'm with you. I don't know. <laughs> call it what you will, call it entertainment. Folk by any other name is bound to smell it sweet. Well that's what I go out and try and play in my arrangement. And that's what I tell everyone, everyone of me. I think um, folk music has started with the, the, the classic tradition of people getting together at the end of a busy day when they're exhausted to drink beer and have fun with everybody. And alcohol has a, quite a bit to pack, a bit, bit, bit to play in, in, the, in the working of folk music. I do enjoy it, but I'm here for the friends and the good times. So. <laughs> That's how uh, music's made in the late hours of the night. <laughs> Up, 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 up. Take it seriously. What is, what is folk? Come on, put your head together. We'd like to ask you, what is folk music? Folk, as in history of people growing up. Banging things. Get a little bit drunk, scare their kids, and it's all good. Villagers dancing in the village. Can I talk about more stuff? Peggy, you want some Songs get transported. Via broadsheets. Do you like folk music? Do you like folk music? Folking rocks. Do you know what folk music is? Do you know what folk music is? Can I have some more beer? What the fuck is folk music? <laughs> Old music is folk music. It's not about folk music. You know you can it. And it makes you It's all about people. Oh. It's as simple as that.